Hi, my name is Ashok. I am from Phoenix Training Institute. We are providing free classroom training in Mumbai for uh, one entire month for CFA aspirants so that they themselves can decide if they wish to continue this certification. Please feel free to contact us for uh, further details. Thank you. How to convert from LIFO to FIFO method? Okay, so if your company is following LIFO, how can an, an analyst you know convert it into fifo so that he can compare the uh, the balance sheet and uh, income statement with other companies so when a company you know makes its reports in uh, lifo method mandatorily they are supposed to mention lifo reserve as the footnote so footnote is just below the balance sheet they will mention uh, uh, lifo reserve so what is lifo reserve LIFO reserve is mentioned as the footnote and LIFO reserve is the difference um, between FIFO inventory and LIFO inventory. So this difference is called as LIFO reserve. But what do we understand by this? This is the amount. LIFO reserve is the amount by which inventory, inventory would have gone up, would have uh, gone up. Uh, would have gone up if FIFO method was used okay if FIFO method was used okay inventory would have gone up by this uh, by this amount which amount by the LIFO reserve amount okay so this is the background story of uh, LIFO reserve now we will do a sum to see how to convert this LIFO into FIFO okay so this this sum uh, I have taken from Schweizer. It looks like a kind of complex sum, but it's very easy uh, because there are standard process only to convert from LIFO to FIFO. Okay, so that standard process I will let you know once you know you understand this sum. Once you you know read the sum. So if you want, you can take a screenshot or you can pause the video and uh, and take a minute or two just to understand the sum properly so let me also read it for you so this is prepared using lifo method and they have given um, balance sheet amount for two years 2005 and 2006 cash receivable inventory total as total current assets gross plant and equipment accumulated depreciation net plant and equipment total assets all have been given similarly liabilities and equities includes payable short-term debt current liabilities long-term debt common stock additional paid in capital retained earnings total liabilities and equities total then viper income statement viper is the name of the company the income statement prepared using lifo method again for 2006 it is revenue 4000 then cost of goods sold gross profit operating expense operating profit interest expense earning before tax tax net income and common dividends are all given in then footnote as i said lifo reserve will be mentioned in the footnote that is below the balance sheet Company uses LIFO inventory cost flow method. Had FIFO uh, been used, inventories would have been 100 higher in 2006 and 90 higher in 2005. Okay, and uh, income tax footnote the tax rate for 2005 and 6 is 20 percentage. So read this line carefully again. The you know this part. The company uses LIFO inventory cost flow method. Had FIFO been used, inventories would have been 100 higher. In 2006 so that means LIFO reserve for 2006 is uh, 100 and LIFO reserve for 2005 for 2005 it is 90 okay so only for 2006 it will come to 10 but otherwise overall for 2006 it is uh, 100 so this comes as 90 plus 10 because it says 100 okay so now how do i convert from lifo to fifo okay so it includes a very standard process so that's why it becomes much easier so all you have to do is balance sheet for 2006 you know I mean till balance sheet as on 2006 so LIFO reserve is 100 so my inventory will go up as I said if I convert it into FIFO this is the amount by which uh, 
you know it will go up so going by this statement i am increasing this amount by 100 so when i increase this amount by 100 automatically income statement for 2006 here um, cost of goods sold will get impacted and it will come down by 100 okay then similarly so the next uh, effect will be gross profit because cost of goods sold is uh, going down gross profit will go up by 100 and because profit is going up you have to pay more tax so on this 100 you have to pay 20 percentage tax so 20 you have to pay tax tax is going up and so your profit net profit uh, net profit will go up by 80 overall how 80 this calculation 100 minus 10 now because you are paying tax that means your cash will also come down by 20 okay so let me put numbers to this this is the first step then second step third step fourth step after this tax you can connect as fifth step then sixth step then seventh is so this is your profit is going up by 80 so that will go as retained earning going up by 80 so now you see overall the balance sheet gets tallied here it goes up by 80 over here also it goes up by 80 that's it so these are the only steps that you are supposed to follow okay the sum actually ends over here but i'm just going to elaborate this further uh, because they have given for 2005 also so if they are wondering like what do you do for 2005 all those things then i'm just elaborating but otherwise even this much if you have understood the sum is over these are the standard steps uh, these are the seven standard steps that you have to know when you convert from lifo to fifo but let me do this for 2005 as well so that you can just you know get more conviction okay so 2005 lifo uh, 2005 so LIFO 2005 um, balance sheet when I prepare same step again first one inventory is going up by 90 and then uh, income statement for 2005 uh, cost of goods sold will come down okay cost of goods sold will come down by uh, 90 okay then gross profit will go up by 90 uh, then uh, uh, tax i'm supposed to pay more tax so 90 into 20 percentage tax will be 18 i have to pay tax so i'll just number all these steps then because i'm paying more tax my cash will come down by 18 then net profit will go up by 72 72 okay and then retained earnings will also come as 72 yeah so this is this is for 2005 okay now if i do you know if i take that difference of 10 and if I do for 2006, just further conviction, though it is not a must to come till here. So it is not a must to come till here, but it is just, just for additional convict conviction. If I take for 2006 that 10 amount, uh, inventory, you know, 10, it is going up by 10. first step then income statement um, so income statement here cost of goods sold will come down by 10 gross profit will go up by 10 tax i have to pay 20 percentage on 10 so that will come to my tax 2 so that's why so i have to pay more cash so my cash will come down by two then uh, sixth step overall my net profit will go up by eight 
eight. Okay. Yeah. So ten minus to eight. Now this I will push it to retained earnings. It will go up by eight. So that's how overall here it will go up by eight eight. Now you see this inventory ten and ninety. This is how it is reaching to hundred. So this I am doing in one shot. As I said, this this itself is fine. Or similarly, cash also. This is two going down by two, going down by eighteen. So overall going down by twenty. So this is done in one shot. This one for two thousand six. And if you want the bifurcations, that bifurcation I have given over here. This one, this one, and this one is the bifurcations. Okay, but otherwise, uh, doing only this much is enough. Okay, thank you so much for your time.